Warning, the following contains graphic content and language some may find offensive. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, so we are, we got Mike and Hannes with us, and uh, we wanted to do a little recap, and we thought we'd, uh, we'd do it here in the, we're actually in the bar slash lounge, I guess you would call it, at, uh, at Rockland's uh, Game Ranch. We're right outside of uh, Fort, Fort Beaufort, right? Yeah. Yep, in the Eastern Cape, and uh, so we, we had a little thing we did the other night. And uh, because of the fact that it was dark outside, we, we did and a little bit of too quick action. And it happened very quickly. We didn't really get to talk about it on camera much. So we thought we'd take this opportunity to kind of go back and, and rehash what happened that night, um, which turned out to be that, that day in general was just, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah I know we got up early and, um, and not ter actually, no, we didn't get up that early. We, we, uh, Sean's up till 10. yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Not 9 30 ish maybe? Yeah. yeah so we, we left here and uh we we headed to uh port alford and uh ended up uh taking that what everybody's telling me now is a massive horby so we're gonna have to have to take a quick look at him uh from there we went back to the same farm that we shot the blue diker the the first morning the, the pineapple farm yes. and uh we had a couple animals on our list we had a uh grease buck a common diker and a bush buck for mike yeah and started off kind of slow we did see um saw quite a lot of diker to start off with yeah yeah it was <sighs> So that we got there when it was about dark, you know, so everything was starting to move, you know, we didn't really see some good dark. We saw some bushback, not really good ones, and uh, so I'm, I'm <laughs> after a while, after a little bit of frustration, we, uh, yeah, Sean, Sean actually spotted it. switched it up. <laughs> well, yeah, so, so what had happened was, yeah, we started in a section that, that had quite a few diker, and you had me pass on two or three different ones. They weren't the quality animal that, that you'd want me to harvest, which, is, which brings me to a point. Whoever's watching this, if you've never been to Africa, do not try to guide your guide. Your PHs know far more about these species than you do. That's a fact. Unless it's an Orby, and then he's never yeah, seen one before, so he just fucking guesses. Um, <laughs> so there's that. That's the first one for all of us. Yeah, that's true. Waterbuck. Waterbuck. Yes, yes, honey, that was for you. Um, but yeah, so we drove around for a while uh, with the spotlight, and what happened was. Unadi drives like shit at night, especially at, at night, especially, and got us stuck for a brief second. And Hannes got pissed off and decided that he was going to drive from then on, and uh, or or at least we put Sean on the spotlight. Yep, put me on the spotlight and put Mike on the gun. And Hannes drives a lot better than Unadi does too. He doesn't beat the shit out of us nearly as bad. It didn't take long after that switch, probably less than ten minutes, I would say. Coming in on two bush bug that we had seen with the light on the left side of the truck, trying to get set up, trying to get closer, Hannes is driving, and Sean suddenly goes, oh shit, Mike, you have to shoot. He's got a light aiming out the other side of the truck. Spin around, I didn't even look. And I trusted his word, Hannes slammed on the brakes after Sean swacked the side of the truck. Yeah, I think it, it 
I think my exact words were, fuck, 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 Mike, you, you have, to, have shoot to shoot it. You have to yeah. shoot it. We've, we've both taken bush bucks before, a couple of them piece now, and we've hunted in Limpopo and, and seen hundreds, literally hundreds. So we're a pretty good judge of bush buck at this point in time. And I've seen Cape bush buck before. Can't always shoot real straight. No, no, the shooting, that's the, that's the fool, not the tool there. It's a pineapple. When, when I saw this particular bush buck, it was instant. Then I just knew that, that you had to shoot it. Had to. And Hannes, did you actually see the animal prior to yeah, us yeah. shots fired? Or? I saw the animal standing and as an object and uh, I had a good look at the horns and, and then I was also like, shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> and then, yeah, the first the first one, I don't know, we had to shoot through pineapples because, uh, you know, I got down on the rail with the truck for a rest and there was no animal but neck and head. And I pulled down into where there should be a body through pineapple. Shot, no impact sound. Fuck. He hauls ass. Jack another one in. And while hauling ass. Yep. So, and that was the, that was the, the, fu the fucking, that shot was absolutely outstanding. I mean, it was just yeah. as pitcher perfect. Yeah. Fucking bush buck running yeah. wide open. Mike pulls up on him and just, <laughs> and down he goes. Perfect when, shot. When, yeah, when bush bucks start running, they don't often stop until they in, in the bush. And, um, we try to whistle and all kinds of stuff. And yeah, y'all barking at him. You I get, hey cow. Uh, yeah, I gave, I gave him the old hey cow. Yeah. That didn't work. Yeah, Murp him. Didn't, murp him. Didn't, that yeah, didn't work. Apparently that worked. I'm just whistling his ass off. I'm like, I better just go ahead and shoot for this. Wow. Yeah, got him down. It, it, we knew he was going to be good. I don't think any of us realized how good he was until we got, got, got on there. Yeah. Um, uh, he ended up just... He was over. He was over 15. Just over 15, I think. 15 and an eighth. And he is perfect. This thing is big, Sean. Holy! I know. I fucking saw it. I did instantly. I said, "Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it!" Yeah, he's like, "Something to shoot." And I'm like, "Okay, BH." Chocolate, chocolate black. Look at that, son. Dude, right through the neck. Literally wrapped your yeah. Aubrey, yeah, look at it. Yeah. Holy shit, it is. Look at that pretty bastard. Look at his teeth, uh, Sean, I think yeah. they gone there. Yeah. Holy shit, a bush buck. That would be your car, I That's about where I was. It blew the hair off the... No, no, that's true. Oh, no. The one that yeah. shot Lin Popo was so close, the fire... Yeah, burned it. Or burned it a hole like that. <laughs> Right beside yeah. the truck. Well then, Mike. You're a champion. Thank you, mm -hmm. sir. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Some to me. Oh. I got yeah. a beer. Yeah. For Anybody for a beer? Rummy. Um, Anybody like the idea of a beer? That's what I say. This is. I bet that's one of the two that he said he had some big ones. Is there any chance that's the one that you missed? I think so. I think so. A little Seriously. bit taller on that side? My goodness, he's big. Mark, this thing is Look at the... Yeah. Mm. What a... Look at his... Come back, Dad. I don't often say. Dude. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Huh? <laughs> yeah, good uh, good spotting, Sean. You just got caught back up with me, so. Yeah. That's like you with the clip springer. No, no. Oh, me. Oh, wait. <laughs> For God's sake, man. I ain't, ain't been this long without beer in a long time. Um... Which is, which, it's just massive. I mean, that's a that's a big, big bush. And perfect. There's no, I mean, good, definitely tall, good mass. No, not chipped up, not broken. I mean, as perfect a, a trophy as you could could have asked for. And I think now, maybe with the the one you've got, the taxidermist right now, and possibly this I'm one. Remember, it, I think I'll probably do a pedestal with the two different ones. Yeah. Well, it makes sense. That'd be cool. Yeah. Well, now that you've got, and you know, we so we this was number one on your list, right? Bush buck for this trip? Yeah, there's outside chance. We've got word of some healing that are out and are on the guy's farm that are now free range. And I have all three other spiral worms free range. And if I can get all four that way. That would be, that would be, that would be something, really something special. So yeah, so we collected the bush buck and, and we did pictures, found a nice spot. Pictures came out good. And, and um, kind of made up our mind that we would kind of hunt back to the, to the main farm entrance and, and call a night. It was already late. Oh, yeah, this store is not even done. 
No, no, that was part oh, one. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, yeah, there's yeah, another yeah. part. We we got back in the truck again and and uh, had a naughty drive and um, I thought we were done. We we'd made it out of the areas where I thought we would see a diker into a area that I did not think we would see a diker. And sure enough, honest finds a diker. And um, we we got set up on him originally, and there was a a, a corner fence brace, big H brace going both directions. And from my vantage, I had about a two inch window to shoot through to not hit that post. And we, we made the call that it was better not to shoot yeah. there. Contact yeah. And so we, we, we got set back up. We actually had to move through a gate and we got, um, I think we ranged it. Down, yep. I guess he thought he was hitting. Yeah. Um, he never did move, but we got 100, 103, 106. I don't remember. It's written down in the book um, yards away. And, but he was facing straight on. Right. So I had and I knew and we had to do a gun switch, not a gun switch, but an ammo yeah. switch because I didn't want to shoot him with a soft point and destroy him because they're little yeah. dudes. And, you know, the way it was lying, if you had to shoot him today, we would have definitely had some damage on the skin. So that's why we used the solids. And, uh, yeah, yeah. it was a very tight shot. The way it was lying, so it's facing us, he's hebrew up. But you only had a little bit from below the nose up to the chest. Yeah, there was like there was a small, small yeah, spot like that. A little just over that white patch and had to had to settle it in there so we got that uh just got settled in i mean he he i swear he never he just didn't think he knew we were there but he didn't think we saw him yeah. and so we had time and and got set up and got um got calmed down a little bit and i touched it off and he never moved it was just just you hear that thud and perfect yeah and i don't know did we ever find the entry hole uh, it's pretty really good. Now, I'm not sure. <laughs> that no, so? we, we, no, 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 it's still there. We, we didn't find the entry hole. Um, the exit was clear. We knew where it exited. It was clear, but we didn't find the entry hole. Yeah, but it, it must have been. There's no other place we could have gone in that in this chip. Yeah. yeah. Got down, got some pictures of it, and then then drove the, uh, you know, the two and a half hours ish back after a pit stop. Yeah, oh, well, we had, a, we had to have a pit stop where our pH decided that we should drink coffee at one in the morning and we thought that was a bad what idea on account of we had rum and castle light in the truck and yeah yeah we're trying to teach him he's learning though he picks it up quickly he al already has not run you out of beer since day one no, so he he has got that and i don't know if you noticed but there's also a jug of rum in there now yes. too on standby so, right? yeah so rule number three but had really good weather um i mean where i'm in short sleeves it was a little chilly this morning when the wind blew but i've not been here before when it's mm -hmm. when it's been green and i think the hunting because of the foliage is a little bit more difficult it makes it harder to, to spot the animals but but it's earlier in the season so they've had less pressure that's the other thing and they're rutting mm -hmm. yeah pretty much yeah. everything's rutting where i mean we've seen uh, where you know i still don't have a trophy warthog we i've killed a few already mm -hmm. A few out of a helicopter and a, one in a hole with a Benelli shotgun, but I don't have a, a proper pig yet. So our goal, I think, uh, we'll probably pack up here shortly and head out and see if we can't find a warthog. And then, so yeah, so far so good. We're we're not even halfway through the trip yet. We've had super luck. If if for me personally, if our trip ended today, um, I would cry like a bitch. But I would be happy because we got those. You know, we got those three animals uh, and. And especially the Orby, I didn't realize ahead of time. I knew the, the blue diker was gonna be a very hard hunt and it's yeah. it's sketchy, but to get the Orby permit was, I didn't realize that they only issued that few, so. Um, yeah. I, uh, think, I think getting the Orby permit is almost as difficult as just shooting a blue dark. Right. <laughs> it's, it's like, you have to know the right people and you know, it's do, ten, do you year, 10 it? permits, which comes out in a year to get one of those is, it's something special, you know, and then harvesting such a, a big one is just, uh, yeah. you know, everyone that we see and we talk about that sees the pictures is just like, wow, that thing's huge, it's massive, it's, I can't believe we got such a nice one. It's just, it's just very special, you know, and uh, even the blue darker too, you know, yeah. it's very, very special animals, those little ones. Oh, well, yeah. Good, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, that will probably cut into the segment somehow, we'll probably, oh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll cut that in there. Don't let that little bastard get away. Fucking fantastic. Yeah, yeah but uh, so today's our last day at Rocklands. Rocklands is, unfortunately, it's my favorite place at all the concessions. Yeah, I like it here. Yeah, it's uh, this place. Um, it's just, it, it's smaller, it's clean. It's a different type of setting. Um, it's, it's 
certainly more rustic, I think. But that part of the first two days, there were only three people here. Yeah, which makes it nice. And I, I think both of our wives, this is also their favorite place out of all the places they've been to. So Rocklands holds a special place in my heart, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, and for me, this is where. I killed my kudu and also where Mike killed his kudu. So coming back is a little nostalgic and especially with, with Carl here. Yeah. yeah at the same Carl, time, kudu Carl here awesome. and drank some number eights with us the other night. So it was, uh, it's been, man, like I said, it's been a great trip so far. I just, yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. The animals with hogs has been exceptional. You know, I can really see that it's still early in the season. It's rutting, you know, it's been really some fantastic animals. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, well, and we, you know, some a lot of the credit goes to you. If not, <laughs> I mean, you you worked, you've been you've been trying to put this hunt together for. I mean, we 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 talked about it. Yeah, you know, it's been nine months since we were here, yeah. and I gave you kind of an early list and said, hey, this is going to be different. I want to go after these little bastards, and I know yeah. we've yeah. talked every week for nine months, kind of yeah. chatted up, and 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 you putting it together, and, yeah. and, and and for anyone that wants to come to Africa and shoot specific animals or. You know, a little bit more of the free range stuff. Try to get hold of your PH on Facebook Messenger or try to get his WhatsApp number through the outfit to let him know what you're looking for, what you want. These guys, are easy, please. It makes life much easier for us to be able to plan the hunt in advance. And that was really, you know, nice being able to communicate with you and knowing what you want and sort of for me, giving me time to get all my spots ready, yeah. get boats going, get cameras up. Uh, get all the information, do all the work beforehand, so when you get here, yeah, it just makes life oh. a whole lot easier and you don't run around, you know, falling Waste. around, driving. Yeah. That's yeah. just it. We've been numerous times now and there's a lot of time that's wasted driving back and forth and when you have that information in advance, I mean, it just... Well, just there's a lot of time wasted on your initial trip because you don't know your pH, whereas, you know, a situation like this, I haven't hunted with Hans, I hunted in the camp with him, with Cody. But Sean and Token hunted with him for a week. So you're already friends. Mm -hmm. You've already got each other twice. Yep. You're already sending pictures of fish that you're catching in Florida at him. He's like, man, that looks great. And when you say honestly, I'm desperate to get an Orby. He figures out how to get one of 10 permits in the entire East Cape for yeah. a year. Yeah, it's like putting water. And his contacts do that. Yeah. You know, so it's, and these guys all work together, you know, Grant, we gotta we gotta throw a shout out to Grant. He yeah. helped mightily with that permit, yeah. and I guarantee you, in the future, when Grant needs something, yeah, better yeah, it works. It, yeah, it works both ways. Yeah. And um, it's gonna be a link in the description um, to the Hunters Hill website. I'm also gonna leave your Instagram and Facebook on there and your WhatsApp. Yeah. So if anybody has questions, you know. I've talked to a ton of people. They reach out, people, just random people see stuff and they reach out to me and ask about Africa and they see our post and they see some of the video that we're putting out there. You know, reach out to me. I'll gladly put you in touch with Hannes or any of the other guys here. They're all fantastic. And, and you know, plan your hunt in advance. You know, the more information you give your pH, the, the more not only success you're going to have, but the more comfortable the trip is going to be too. You'll avoid a lot of the, the hiccups that happen and, and they'll prearrange everything. And even if it's your first trip and you're not sure, reach out, you know, we can, we can help you here at Salt Lake. Mike and is a world of knowledge. We've done this so many times now we can do it standing on our head, but we can facilitate the communication with, with the pH for you ahead of time, which is more, most important. There's, you know, that, that, that yeah, early, is important, but the pH is yeah, it is. I mean, you could, you could certainly work through the main office. And, and work and through the Greg. Very and good there too. Everyone Shane. Greg's staff is fantastic. But if you know ahead of time, you know what who your pH is going to be, and you've got it worked out, or it's it's a pH that you've seen somewhere that somebody's recommended, definitely reach out to them. They'll get the specifics. They'll set it up. They'll make it happen. You know, it's it just makes life so much easier. It does. And like I said, this so nine months we've been planning this this yeah. trip, and far it's been freaking perfect. So I mean, this was the. Greg told me when, when I first booked it and I gave him the list, he said, man, he says, I don't know how to price this fucking trip for you. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, I don't know that there's a single animal on your list that you'll actually see and kill on this trip. So. Yeah, it took two days to kill three. Took, yeah, two days to kill three. So <laughs> Gave us enough time to pH our tractor yesterday. Oh yes, that's, that is uh, yeah, time. yeah. Video of that as well. You'll yeah, you'll see that. But I'll tell you what, let's go get you a workout. I'm game with that. What do you think, Honest? I think it's time. Warthog time? Yeah. See you next time. Bye.